Hello learners, this is education online program. Our subject in, is chemistry and I'm teacher Lily. I'm going to teach you uh, chemistry for senior three and four and this topic is the chemical properties of group two elements. Here we're going to talk about the reactions of calcium and magnesium uh, of group two with dilute acid. Their reaction with dilute acid. So it means we are going to see that we are going to take magnesium and calcium as the representative elements. So here we are going to see that magnesium reacts vigorously with the dilute acid and produces a lot of effervescence. The effervescence is as a result of hydrogen gas evolution. So we are going to see that a reaction of hydrochloric acid with the magnesium or calcium reaction of hydrochloric uh, nitric acid and reaction of uh, sulfuric acid with the two uh, elements which is uh, magnesium and calcium which are representing the group two elements so we have seen that uh, this reaction is vigorous so for magnesium Magnesium reacts vigorously, vigorously, vigorously with the dilute, with the dilute, vigorously with the dilute acid, with the dilute acid and the production produce a lot of produce a lot of a lot of effervescence so this effervescence is as a result of what of uh, hydrogen gas so in the reaction of magnesium and calcium with sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid or nitric acid it produces hydrogen gas which has this property of effervescence we are going to see that this effervescence is effervescence is as a result is as a is as a result of hydrogen gas hydrogen gas produced so here we are going to see that uh, this hydrogen gas evolves produces the property which is known as the ever recent so we are going to see the reaction of magnesium magnesium plus hydrochloric acid will give us magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas so magnesium chloride magnesium chloride plus hydrogen so here we are going to see also that uh, this reaction here is showing the reaction of hydrochloric acid with magnesium. So in this case, the hydrochloric acid is dilute in uh, nature. It's not uh, concentrated, but it is dilute. So in this case, the products are salt and hydrogen gas. And also we need to see that the reaction of magnesium plus uh, sulfuric acid and this will give us the magnesium will incorporate to sodium uh, to sulfate and hydrogen is given out so we shall have magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen gas magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen gas and here we consider it as an aqueous so 
solution. So we are going to see also hydrogen gas, which has the property it is known as an effervescences. So in this case, we are also going to see that this reaction, the two reactions here, plus the one of uh, nitric acid, they are all uh, in vigorous way. So the reaction is so higher or it is very fast that uh, it is giving us the aqueous solution of magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate, and the coming one which is magnesium nitrate. So we shall have magnesium also reacting with nitric acid, reacting with nitric acid, which will give us magnesium nitrate. hydrogen gas. So we are going to see here that uh, this reaction is also giving us an aqueous solution of magnesium nitrate plus hydrogen gas evolved. So this hydrogen gas evolved, it has the property, the same property which we indicated as an effervescence. So here we are going to see also that uh, uh, this is going to be a uh, an equation and we have to check first of all we need to remember that any chemical equation should be balanced so the same atom or the same amount of atom should be on the left side together with the right hand side so learners can we check on all these uh, chemical equations are they balanced or not so we are going to see magnesium in the first reaction of magnesium with the hydrochloric acid to give us magnesium chloride plus uh, hydrogen gas. So we have seen that there are one atom of hydrogen, uh, of chlorine, one atom of hydrogen, and one atom of magnesium. So here on this side, we have one atom of magnesium, two atoms of chlorine, and two atoms of hydrogen gas. It means the equation is unbalanced. We need to balance it by adding two in front of hydrochloric acid because actually is hydrogen and chlorine on the other side which is unbalanced or on the product side so we put two in order to balance the equation now we have two hydrogen atom and two chlorine atom in this side also two chlorine atom and two hydrogen atom here we have magnesium plus sulfuric acid here we're going to see the number of atoms uh, for magnesium we have two atoms of magnesium and two atoms, uh, one atom of magnesium, two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of sulfur, four atoms of oxygen. So if you go to the left hand, right hand side of the uh, chemical equation, you are going to see that a magnesium, uh, one atom, and then one atom of sulfur, four atoms of oxygen. Here also we have two atoms of hydrogen. So it means the equation is balanced and we need to remember that we have one mole of magnesium reacting with one mole of sulfuric acid. So to give us one mole of magnesium sulfate plus one mole of hydrogen gas. So the same here we have magnesium plus nitric acid should give us magnesium nitrate plus hydrogen gas. So here we also see that uh, hydrogen gas is one of the gas that has been given out in this reaction. So we shall have magnesium as a solid plus nitric acid. Here they are all in aqueous form. Uh, it will give us magnesium nitrate which is also aqueous. And here we have hydrogen gas which is a gas. So in this case we shall have uh, magnesium. Uh, magnesium is one atom and we have magnesium in this side also, one atom. Also we have hydrogen, one atom in this side, but in this side we have two atoms. Two atoms of nitrate, of uh, nitrogen, and six atoms of oxygen, but in this side we have three atoms of oxygen and one atom of nitrogen. So we need to add two in order to balance the equation. So we shall have two atoms of hydrogen in this side and one atom of hydrogen, uh, two atoms of hydrogen in the other side of the product. So here we have seen that uh, magnesium 
plus nitric acid and if you give us magnesium nitrate plus hydrogen gas so the equation is balanced uh, by adding two at the side of the product uh, or the side of the reactants uh, in front of the dilute nitric acid so the calcium react calcium react reacts very vigorously with dilute nitric acid and dilute hydrochloric acid to form compounds of the respective salt and hydrogen evaporation is seen due to production of hydrogen gas so here we are going to see the reaction of calcium calcium reacts vigorously calcium reacts vigorously with very vigorously with hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid and also dilute nitric acid so we shall have a hydrochloric acid and dilute nitric acid so here this reaction is going to give us also a hydrogen gas evolution so we shall have calcium plus hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid it will give us calcium chloride which is a solid and we have hydrogen gas evolved so here we are going to see that uh, this is a solid uh, hydrochloric acid is in aqueous form and calcium chloride is also in aqueous form so here it is representing that uh, calcium when it reacts with the hydrochloric acid in dilute form will give us calcium chloride plus hydrogen gas which is a word of course we need to put an arrow to show that this is a hydrogen gas being evolved out so hydrogen gas come out from these reactions so we shall have also the reaction of calcium calcium plus nitric acid it will give us calcium nitrate calcium nitrate plus hydrogen gas being evolved so we shall have to remember that this is a reaction of the dilute acid with calcium and this reaction is vigorous in nature so we shall have to see that uh, calcium uh, metal reacted with the nitrate or the nitric acid to give us calcium nitrate plus hydrogen gas so we need also to check whether this uh, equation or chemical equation is balanced or not so we shall have calcium as a metal is only a single atom here also it is a single atom hydrogen here there are two atoms of hydrogen in the product side there is only a single uh, hydrogen at the reactor side so we need to add two because here we have nitrate inside the bucket it is uh, two uh, nitrate uh, molecules so in this case we shall have two hydrogen atom, two nitrate nitrogen atom, and six oxygen atom reacting to give us calcium nitrate plus hydrogen gas, and this equation is a balanced equation. So we may ask, what is wrong with the nitric acid or the sulfuric acid? So we are going to see the reaction of calcium metal react with dilute sulfuric acid is start at the start and then quickly is stop this is because an insoluble calcium sulfate coating form on the surface of calcium metal prevents any further reaction with the acid so with the reaction of calcium with the sulfuric acid or dilute sulfuric acid it is start very fast and somewhere it is stopped why does it is stop because actually sulfuric acid form a coating uh, around the surface of calcium and this cause that uh, the reaction may not continue because uh, the 
the, the surface of the metal has been covered with the coating from sulfuric acid and you, it will it prevent the reaction to go further. So if you stop somewhere, this is caused by the coating at the surface of calcium metal. So we shall have calcium, 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 uh, calcium metal react, reaction with uh, sulfuric acid to dilute sulfuric acid with dilute sulfuric acid with dilute sulfuric acid it starts and it stops somewhere and it stops in the middle of in the middle of the reaction which shows that the reaction is incomplete and it is stopped so here in the middle of the reaction in the middle of the reaction so this prevents the reaction to go further so this is actually because uh, here nitrogen uh, sulfuric acid causes a cover out on the top of calcium metal and this prevents the reaction to go further so in the middle of in the middle uh, it is so in the middle of the reaction so in the middle of the reaction so this is because so this is this is because this is because uh, an insoluble an insoluble an insoluble calcium sulfate is formed this is because an insoluble calcium uh, is formed so this calcium sulfate causes calcium sulfate coating coating form on the top on the surface of on the surface of calcium metal the surface of calcium metal prevents prevents any further further reaction prevent any further reaction with the available acid so learners we need to remember that this is the reaction of dilute acid with a group of group two metals elements and we are here it is represented by two elements calcium and magnesium so the two elements here they are, are representing the other elements in group two so in this case, we have seen that uh, the reaction of calcium, of magnesium with the uh, nitric acid or hydrochloric acid or sulfuric, uh, sulfuric acid, they all form hydrogen gas. So here, if hydrogen gas is formed, then this hydrogen gas causes what is known as an effervescence. And here, this is, uh, this is a property whereby you have, see, you have to see them all in the other uh elements or the other metals in group two so we are going to see here that the reaction of sulfuric acid with the calcium plus sulfuric acid it will give us calcium sulfate plus hydrogen gas and here the reaction could not continue, so the reaction is incomplete due to the reason that we have mentioned above. So because here calcium sulfate, the first calcium sulfate form, uh, it causes uh, a coating or it form a coating upon the surface of the metal, calcium, and at, uh, in turn it prevents the reaction from going further. It means here the reaction is incomplete. and 
first of all we need to remember that uh, when you put uh, when you react calcium with the sulfuric acid it will give us calcium sulfate and this calcium sulfate is the one responsible for the prevention of the reaction so here we have seen that the reaction as we go down the group it increases as we know that from the other reactivities of group 2 with the uh, other reagents like chlorine uh, oxygen and water the reaction was very uh, was vigorous but here as we have seen that uh, in the middle of the reactions with the uh, dilute sul uh, acid like the sulfuric acid uh, with the calcium sulfate it means those elements below may not uh, go ahead with the reaction or the reaction may not proceed because of the uh, causing of the coating around the metal surface which prevent the reaction from going further so we have to know that uh, here the reaction or the reactivity here it is uh, increases as we go down the group so it means that those metals below uh, in the group are having what higher reactivity compared to those ones above so you need to remember that the chemical properties of group two elements they increases the reactivity increases as we move down the group whether which reagent it is but they have to remember that those elements below in group two are more reactive than those above in the group and here we have seen that the first element which is beryllium cannot react with uh, any other reagent because of the higher ionization energy higher electro affinity and higher uh, electro negativity so this causes that uh, the first element in each group uh, the first element in group two is uh, having a different chemistry compared to the rest of the members in the group so you may find that there are other reactions that may not happen with the first uh, element and also you may find that uh, the reactions may go ahead with the other elements but with the first element it will be uh, prevented so learners we have learned uh, that uh, this element they are group two elements they are more reactive but the reactivity increases as we go down the group it means if you move from down upwards it will have to decrease so the reactivity will decrease the ionization increases as you move down the group so we have learned the reaction with the water the reaction of group two with water with the chlorine with dilute uh, acid and also with oxygen and we have seen what has happened with the elements that has been given as a representative element for group uh, two so with this learners we have come to the end of this lesson so thank you very much for listening